people all over the world are realizing that these programs don't make us more safe. They hurt our economy, they hurt our country, they limit our ability to speak and think and live and be creative, to have relationships, to associate freely. And they're going, this doesn't make us more safe, it makes us less safe, it puts us at risk of coming into conflict with our own government. And there's a far cry between uh, legal programs, legitimate spying, legitimate law enforcement where it's targeted, it's based on reasonable suspicion, and individualized suspicion, and a warranted action, and sort of dragnet mass surveillance that puts entire populations under sort of an eye that sees everything, even when it's not needed. And it's led us to a point in our relationship with the government where we have an executive of the Department of Justice that's unwilling to prosecute high officials who lied to Congress and the country on camera, but they'll stop at nothing to persecute someone who told them the truth. And that's a fundamentally dangerous thing to democracy. And I think this is not about um, any sort of uh, particular program. This is about a trend in the relationship between the governing and the governed in America that is coming increasingly into conflict with what we expect as a free and democratic union. If we can't understand the policies and programs of our government, we cannot grant our consent in regulating them. Uh, as someone very clever said recently, uh, we don't have an oversight 